Friday morning, uh, uh, around, 30, around 30, uh, 36 hours ago, uh, the launch vehicle is sitting on its launch table and is towed by a truck from the final assembly building where the ATV was mated on the launch vehicle up to the launch pad some four kilometers away. It takes about an hour to roll out there because the trucks, special trucks, uh, roll out very slowly. A very special truck indeed, capable of towing the equivalent of almost uh, three Airbus A380 at full charge, but very low speed. Can you give us a very quick explanation of the green status panels where everything is uh, smooth? So this, uh, yes, this panel, the status of the different systems which are all involved in the uh, synchronized sequence and uh, for which uh, they have to be uh, ready at the same time, the same moment to allow the, the launch. And these include the launch base, the launcher, the satellites, in this case the ATV, Jules yeah. Verne. Basically all the systems across this very big uh, space base, Europe's spaceport, the, all these systems uh, summarized by the green status panels coming into Jupiter here, which is why we call Jupiter the nerve center of the whole thing. The DDO, Thierry Vallée, again, you'll hear him call out the one-minute mark in just a moment, and we'll be into the final 60 seconds. À tous de dire attention pour moins une minute. Are you going to go out and see the show? I go and see the show. Al Alex is going to step outside. Top H0, see you later. Alex is going out to uh, the terrace. There are two terraces on either side of us here. The folks, the invited guests are going out now. And he's going to watch the launch and come back and he'll give us his impressions live. In the meantime, keep your eyes open for the final ignition sequence. You will hear the DDO call out uh, the 3, 2, 1 uh, ignition. And you'll see the main engine light up. And then count to seven, because during those seven seconds, the computers that we've been talking about will be checking out pressure and temperature. And if they find everything all right, then they'll give the order to light the boosters. Those are the ones on the side there. And uh, then we'll be off. So we'll let the DDO call out the final ten seconds, and we'll let you enjoy the liftoff. And we'll be back with you after Ariane has cleared the tower. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6... 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcan, allumage des EAP et décollage. sky over Kourou here, always an impressive sight. 775 tons lifting off. The DDO is saying that everything is okay on board. Alex has just come rushing in. You look very pleased of what you've seen. How was it out there? Uh, that was absolutely terrific. It was a marvelous show. The light and sound were absolutely impressive. What impressed you most? Uh, I think the, the, the sound, but it comes a little bit later, but the sound is really impressive. It's not the first time you've seen a launch. No, it's not the first time, but each time it's a little bit like the first time. All right, sounds, sounds exciting. I'll go out next time. So we are now uh, in flight. So from now on, we shall leave the green panel and follow the launcher's health status on this little graphic that you can see. On the upper